dear students welcome to our computer class in the previous lecture we have discussed about menu tab and the home tab of the ribbon and in this lecture we will discuss about the insert tab of the ribbon so let's start our lecture students insert tab provides us to insert a page break inserting a table inserting text box insert symbols insert header and footer insert page numbers and inserting an images and so on so students you can also see many options of the insert tab in the window also so let's discuss them in detail first of all we will do insert a page break a page break places text onto a new page to put a page break into a document click page break under the pages option so students here i am going to show you how to add a page break so in the insert tab you can see the page break option and this complete portion is the pages group so students first of all click in the document where you want a page break and then select a page break option from the pages section so when i click here then you can see that text moves on the next page so i hope you understand insert a page break students next is inserting a table to insert a table click on table under table group so here you can see the table group this is your table group and if you want to add a table in the document then you have to click this table and the mouse over the boxes to get the number of rows and columns and when you click on the table then it asks you how many rows and columns you want so students just suppose i make a table of 3 rows and three columns okay so in this table students here i am going to give table headings like name class and age and students you can also apply formatting on the table like i can move a table or i can change the length and width of the table like in this way click on the corners and change the width of the columns or length of the table and students as you can see i can also move the table so i hope you understand the table concept and students you can also add more rows and columns in the table so i hope you understand how to insert a table and next topic is insert text box so students you can also insert text box anywhere in the document now i am going to show you where is the option of insert text box as you can see this is the insert tab and here students you can see the option of text box when you click the text box then it appears on the document and when you want to write anything in the text box you can also add it this text box and you can also remove this text box so students i hope you understand the text box next is inserting a symbol students there is also an option on the insert tab to insert a text symbol 
applied here you can see at the end there is an option of symbol when you click on it you can add any symbol in your document and next is inserting header and footer in the document so students you can also add header and footer in the document so what is header students the top area of the page is called the header and the last section of the page is called footer so how we use it to add header go to insert tab and here choose the option of header so students when i click on header when you can see that insertion point displays and here we have to write the header so for example i am going to write chapter 1 here and when you complete after writing then close the header and footer so students now you can see this header displays on every page like this so students you can also add footer by clicking on the footer option when i click on footer then you can add footer here suppose i write copy right here and just press a close footer from the header footer tab and now you can see footer is written on all the pages students you can also add the page number in your document and how you can add the page number just click on insert tab and then click on page number option and here you can add page number in your document and here you can see that page number is displayed on the document and next is students inserting an image so how to insert an image in the document just click on insert tab click on the pictures option and then you can choose any picture that you want to add in the document suppose i have inserted this picture so students when i click this picture then there is a picture format option in the tabs and here you can do any formatting on this picture you can apply coloring on it you can give effects on it and you can give different styles up to the picture and you can give the picture border and you can also position the picture you can also wrap text the picture and you can also do the crop to the picture and you know students crop is very important feature of the of the picture format so students by the do crop to the picture to just remove the unnecessary part of the picture here i am going to show you when i click on the picture then students just click on the crop option from the picture format and then you can see there are cropping handles at the corners and students just click them and drag them to remove unnecessary part of the picture like you can see that i crop this picture from the right side and i can also crop this picture from the left side so you can see the result so i hope students you understand the insert tab Thank you